Hey YouTube, this is Derek of D's Hands and D's Hands are coming at you. Hey look, and we're back again with Undisputed. We got a new battle for you. We got Carl the Cobra Frotch against Roy Jones Jr. I'm wondering who you think will win. Will this underdog take Roy down? That's the question. Actually, I have another question for you. So, I made myself a burger. I call it a smash burger, by the way. It's got some cheese, it's got some mayo, and it's got some mustard on it. In the comments below, let me know how you like your burger. Do you like smash burgers or do you like that thick, juicy grandma burger? So let me know in the comments what you like. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this battle. We got Carl Frotch, the Cobra against Roy Jones Jr. Let's go! Next to me, right, here we go. Let's Johnny go. Carl Frotch, the Cobra against Roy Jones Jr. My favorite boxer. I think Roy is probably by far the best middleweight that has ever entered into the ring. Um, not really knocking the fact that Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, some of the other greats that are actually in there. But my favorite has always been Roy. So let's see. Let's go. We're expecting an all-out offensive display. I'm going to try and take Roy's body out. I'm going to do some directional punching, going for the body majority of the time. Roy's been notorious for knocking people out with body shots, so I don't know what his game plan is going to be, but he's already started by going to the body. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this our main event. You have certain fighters that are born. That are made. Counter punches in here too. I gotta tire him out quickly. Roy doesn't have a strong chin, so maybe that's what my angle will be here. My first time with this battle, so I'm gonna see if I can figure it out as we fight. Mm-hmm. Roy has some blazing hands. Yeah, those counters are definitely going to be necessary in this fight. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Try and get him down. Try and avoid him also. Just missed with that left jab. Need to catch a good counter on this dude. We keep an eye on very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, that was a nice counter, Roy. All right. You know what? I'm going to take a bite of my burger right now. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? And there's the bell for round two. Nice counter by Roy. Should have let me score a counter on that one because I was right in range. Fantastic right after his punch, I got it off, so should have given that to me. Because we're always trying to drain some energy here. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, to take my stamina and then like a snake. It's not Keep the kind of boxer he was. God, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be honest. Definitely with the mess box. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. His hand speed is amazing. Neither man really defending themselves.
Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance nice tonight, considering how spot. much they've emphasized their physical fitness? Over the Some of the best nice fighters in the bro. world nice were time. the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is there. Nice step around. When I'm telling you, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, yeah. sharp, powerful. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. So let's see what happens. Who's going to be the first one to get buzzed? His hand speed is amazing. That punch lands. Missed him with that uppercut. Cobra getting caught. Gotta be careful in there. He didn't take that jab well at all. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. These two are the perfect dance partner. Yeah, it's just even tough to cover up because you don't know where those punches are coming from. I'm going to have to get to him. I don't know what that was, but I'm glad it allowed me to get away. You don't want to stay there, Roy. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice counter by Roy. Should have given me a counter right Stamina there. Should have scored so a counter right there. Two fighters because it allows it them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Midway through the fight. You know the scorecards nice are going to be all over the place in this one. Could not even block this guy's punches. He Which fighter is going to get caught first? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Nice counter, Roy. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Counter work. He threw the hook, didn't land. Oh, nice. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the room. And that's a stages from both men in this round. Nice counter, Roy. And he caught him with a left hook. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Come on, Roy. First one to get caught. They're trying to smother me. He missed with that jab.
Oh, that was a horrible Swing and a miss with the left uppercut. That power shot was way off. Now Roy trying to get aggressive. It seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You have to give it. Caught him. Guess what, Roy? It's over. Carl Frotch, the Cobra. Beautiful shot. Wondering if he's going to make it up before the count. Here we go. Uh, Roy is back. Go we'll see if we got some adrenaline left because we're taking it straight to him. No adrenaline, so we're going to go ahead and directional punch. Going to the body. Going to the body. He got out of the way that right hook. Nice veteran move here. Yeah, we're about to the drain you to a little bit, and then we're going to take you down moment. with some body blows here. So we got one knockdown on Roy. We're going to see if we can take him completely out. Carl, the Cobra, let's see what you got. Here we go in the sixth round. Not sure why Roy's coming in trying to stop the brother. That's okay. And he's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots it's off. okay, Roy. And he caught him with a left hook. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Roy, you're trying to crowd me again. Nice counter, Roy. Coming back to life now. That's speed. To That's land speed. Got to get away from it. From both men in this round. Nice Roy, you have no energy, my friend. Land clean and he just did it there. Nice counter. Nice counter, Carl. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. You know what? Sometimes oh, I get out of there, Carl. When you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? This round's still up for nice Mavs. Just 10 right. seconds to go. That right hook catching air. And he will hold here, and good thing he did because he was getting beaten up. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. You saw the referee watch, look, didn't say anything, just gestured to say I've tricked you. Now be careful because when it starts pulling, taking you out of your rhythm, it's going to get harder. He scores with that right uppercut. He keeps flipping around that punch. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. 
And nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're trying to crowd me. Ooh, that punch hurt him. Cut. We're not seeing a lot of defense. Oh, come on, Carl. Can't get caught because Royal put you down, buddy. Get out of there. Ah, Carl, you went down. I got two rounds, got a knockout, I got a knockout. Talk My carelessness. Luckily, the bell was there for me. Let's see if we can pull this out. Let's go, Roy. And then back at it again here in round eight. To you until it goes away. The speed is incredible, man. And he fails to score with that left hook. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Though. These two are the perfect dance partners. It's nice that Roy steps away from that clinch. Quick punch scores. <laughs> this fighter has tested very close round with 10 seconds to go. Carl, you gotta get out of there, man. That's speed. And there's the bell for round nine. Nice counter by Roy. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. Nice counter by Roy. Just misses with that jab. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't oh, want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. figure out the combination to this thing. Nice shot with the left. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Oh, nice counter, Roy. The speed is incredible. I think it's safe to say one of these this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, 
Oscar has the advantage. I'm going to see if he can pull it out. Is going to be the first to get rocked. Got him in a clean right uppercut. Well, you can't get counted like that, my friend. Not a lot of defense here at all. Nice counter. Nice counter, Rick. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin. He's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. Nice counter work. Hey, those punches add up. He left his chin exposed and he got caught. Out of there, Carl. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And there's the bell to start round 11. Gotta get some count. One of the out of best this. attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do nice, with boxing. Nice, it's how nice. well you can take a punch to the face. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body. Use tactics sometimes to sort of clutch you out, box the fight, and beat them on points. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Carl, oh, you are exhausted. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Get out of there, Carl. from both men in this round. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got stand speed and put you. Oh, you can't they miss that them. shot. They He's right in front of you. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Don't get careless, you can take the, the scorecard on this one. Which fighter is going to get caught first? He comes out throwing that, that lead left. Stepping around, punches that I'm throwing. How did he absorb that hook? Nice counter, Roy. Nice exchange here from both men. The speed, wow. I think he hit me three times. Oh, 
This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you nice have a fight, the best way to beat a fight get is to give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, talk to them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Carl, come on, dude. Coming back to life now. We're trying to give Starting the edge to Roy punches. right now. So my best bet is to stay away. I can't even get a punch off. Roy does have the speed, that so uppercut misses. it makes sense to me. That left scores. Here's the thing. In boxing, you've got to figure out a way to win with Despite finesse. You've got to figure out a win, no stay away from this. things that are put you in danger. We're in the 12th round, so I need to do something to save myself in a position win, to a win. So that's, and there you go. The Cobra pulled it off. Hey, listen, thank you for watching. We got another win with the underdog. Roy, you are my favorite boxer. But guess what? You just lost. <laughs> These hands are coming at you. Peace.